Safety first. <laughs> I burnt my pants. <laughs> oh man. It's a good thing I don't do this for a living. Alright, good morning. We're at home. Been home for a couple days. I finally got to her. Finally, I got my uh, first shot of the COVID vaccine. Feeling good. No major issues. Now, what we're going to work on today is I'm still leaking trans or I'm leaking power steering fluid on the ground. So, and this is the power steering pump right here. And it looks like, if you guys can see it, there's a big bolt right there, a nut. It looks like it's leaking from under there. So I'm going to clean that up real good, run the truck. This has been sitting for a couple days. Run the truck and see if I can find out where it's leaking. The other thing we're gonna work on today is I got an exhaust leak. You see all this right here, this, you see up in here. So when it rains, the water gets down and into the exhaust and it blows it out and it's coming out up here. Now this right here is, a, is either going to be a simple job or it's going to turn into a mess. Um, I replaced this muffler, I don't know, several years ago and these little bolts right here got all messed up. You can see how it's loose right there. See the little brackets. And then this bracket right here. If you can see that bracket there. That's not easy. But uh, I'm going to try to take that cover off. Take this cover off. See there's a bolt missing right there. Take that cover off. See what's going on right there. I'm hoping. If you look up in here. There's a clamp. There's a clamp right here. I'm hoping just this clamp is messed up, but I'm thinking maybe not. So, let me uh, work on cleaning this up, see if we can figure out what's leaking here, and then we'll move on to the exhaust. I've got it cleaned up, and I've ran the truck for a little while, and I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Uh, let me see if I can get you in there. It's this, that one right there that's leaking. So I'm not too sure how that goes together. Might be an O-ring or something in there maybe, but it's leaking right there. So um, I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm just going to take it apart. I'm just going to take it apart and see what happens. What it ended up doing is this fitting right there was loose. And I couldn't figure out what size it is, so I just use the adjustable wrench. I got it down in there, and it was loose. I gave it a couple tight turns. I'm going to start the truck because it was leaking, and if you can see, it was leaking right around there. Um, I'm going to start the truck, see how it looks and then um, go from there uh, next thing will be the uh, exhaust i was All looking right. at this uh this exhaust ain't easy i remember when uh, i had those mufflers replaced it was a pain in the butt so the problem is i don't know if you guys can see it in here or not but there's a hole in the muffler right here you can see where the bracket has worn through the muffler right there. So, this bracket's no good. Um, these bolts here are stripped, so I can't get those out. One up there and up on the top. So, I've gotten these bolts loose down here. I took the clamp off right there I'm getting ready to start on the top and um, I'm hoping it'll just lift up I might end up just taking this clamp off 
right here and because uh, I remember when I put those on uh, I helped the guy put them on but when I put them on we had to put it all together on the ground and then lift it up and set it on there so I know a lot of people oh you should get straight pipes and everything I probably would but uh, it's like two thousand dollars to put straight pipes on here I don't know by the time I spend all the parts I might have a thousand dollars in parts anyway but anyway I might have to buy that elbow so this elbow right here is all rested up so we'll see we'll see how it goes but I just wanted to update you see what see so you can see where I'm at All right, I got it down. I don't know if I'll be able to get it up by myself. Oh, so you can see all the soot, the hole. Try to salvage some of these rubber garments. Oh, let me, uh, I wanna roll this around. Try not to scratch up that uh, shield too much. I mean, I know it's already bad shape, but I gotta figure out how to get those off of there. So hang on a second. Safety first. <laughs> I burnt my pants. <laughs> oh man. It's a good thing I don't do this for a living. <laughs> oh, anyway. All right. So the muffler should be loose from the shield. Let me move it over here. All right. So here's the shield. I'll try to protect it as much as we can. I know it's not in perfect shape. Let's stick it over here. And so you can see what happened right here. So this bracket rubbed the hole in the exhaust right there. So we gotta replace this. I have to replace this bracket. These brackets ain't cheap either. It's like a hundred bucks for these brackets. Ah, oh, and then we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do. I gotta see if I can get this off. I mean, if I can save this, I will. I know it's not pretty, but if I can save it, I will. All right, let me get uh, let me get everything off, and then uh, we'll see what we got. All right, I might be done for today, plus the wind's starting to blow. Um, I've ordered all the parts. I, uh, I could not get this elbow out, plus there's a hole in the elbow right there. So I called Peterbilt, the elbow, we're gonna, I'm gonna get a new elbow. 
$109 for the elbow. Going to get a muffler. Didn't ask him how much the muffler cost. Uh, his top stack is fine. We can still use that. We'll clean up the bottom of that. Get new clamps. Now, Peterbilt, or my Peterbilt, did not have these clamps. This is the bottom one that goes around the muffler. And these, you see those holes there? It sits in this support right here. So it sits in there like that. Or actually, the other way around. Here, it sits like that. So it sits in there like that. This bracket here was $115. I had to order it from Peterbilt in Kentucky. Would you believe that? Uh, this bracket here goes around the exhaust. There they, you can see the... Uh, so it goes around. I went ahead and ordered two of these since I'm ordering stuff. These right here were $95 a piece. I had to get two of those. These little brackets are the ones that mount the shield, which is right there, to the exhaust. And the way these work is they screw into that little part right there. These, this bracket right here is $53. I ordered three of those. This bracket right here is $35. Ordered three of those. Unbelievable. So, my Peterbilt shop did not have that, which I was really surprised. He said he could get them, but it'd be sometime next week. So, I ordered them from an online place out of Kentucky. Um, Got to get new clamps right there. So that means I'm going to be home for a while. Uh, I was thinking <laughs> we'll work on this little piece right here. So this little uh, bungee is holding that piece on. The screw's missing. So I'll finally fix that. We'll fix that because I got to find stuff to do to make videos. Today's video, speaking of videos, is sponsored by Dorsey Trailer. And I got one other thing to take down to the trailer. Uh, we're gonna change the oil in the generator too so that'll keep me busy for a little while and I'll do some stuff around the house I think I got that power steering leak fixed so uh, hopefully that's done let me go show you what else I ordered all right I ordered I finally broke down and ordered some of these things here and they're big edge protectors and you've heard me oh you've heard me talk about with the roof roofing shingles and stuff so i ordered 20 of them and they only sent me 19. so i called them and said they're good they said they're going to send me my one that i'm missing but I ordered them from, and I'll give them a shout out. So far, they've been nice to me. They said they fixed the problem. I ordered from My Tea Products. But uh, this bundle, these are in bundles of five. This one has 10, but this one only had 19. So uh, there's only four right there. These are 36 inches. So I, uh, I'll take them down to the trailer. The Dorsey trailer that is and I'll find somewhere to put them but so I finally broke down and bought some all right we'll call it quits for today wind's gonna pick up um, and uh, we'll come up with some more little things to do this week thanks for watching